During the first scrimmage of the JV and varsity basketball season today, something happened that made me think of this video. See, let me tell you. I was watching the JV game, so I saw this right from the bench as it was happening. So my friend pulled up for a three in the corner, and it was right in front of the other team's bench. And as he was about to shoot it, you can hear them say, Oh, hell nah. So my buddy takes the shot, and he drains it. And as he gets back on defense, he looks at the other team's bench, so he's running this way. He looks at the other team's bench, and he keeps running. He stared down the whole bench. Mind you, this was the first three of the game. It's not like he was on fire. He just decided... I'm going to stare you down because you doubted my jumper. And I thought, you know what? That was one of the best ways to handle that heckling and trash talk. He didn't say a word. He let his game do the talking. But he made sure to let them know, you can't disrespect me. I thought it was perfect. Well done by him. I have four talking points to go over in this video. And to start off with the first, I have a story. When I was choosing which high school to go to, it was either my home district or the one that I'm currently at. Thankfully, I made the right decision. But whenever we play against my home school, it is a hostile environment. Every single time I've played there, I've been yelled at, I've been belittled, I've been heckled. And it's not fun at all. <laughs> Let me tell you, especially last year, because I was not prepared for that sort of environment. I still remember it. I have flashbacks of it. You can't shoot! And then I would brick a shot. Leave him open, he ain't gonna make it. Miss again. That's too deep, that's out of his range. Air ball. I had a terrible game at my old home school. I thought I was going to get revenge on him for being mean to me in the past and I thought I was going to really show them up. And I did the opposite. I got too caught up in trying to prove them wrong, trying to outdo their trash talk. Whatever I was going on in my head, I let them in there rent free. I entertained the trash talkers and that's key point number one don't entertain them don't give them the light of the day do not even give them a fraction of your attention don't entertain it key point number two stop trying to talk back let your playing do the talking in the example I mentioned before my boy he took a three Made the three after they said, hell nah. And he stared down their bench. Of course, maybe in a perfect world, he wouldn't have stared down the bench and he would just let his playing do the talking. But you know what? I thought it was the right thing to do. It, it just looked very cool. <laughs> but let your playing do the talking. He didn't say a word back. He just let his playing do the talking. Number three. Just play your game. Like... I already mentioned this earlier. Don't give them your attention. Don't give them the light of day. But when I say that, that doesn't mean completely try to like, like look away from them and like don't even make eye contact. Because that shows you're being a coward. And you're not a coward. Don't let them disrespect you. But don't let them in your head. If that makes sense. Don't let them change your behavior with what they say or what they do. But don't ever fight back because that'll get you ejected from games. And we don't want that. We want you to stay in the games. Stay in it. And this leads me right into key point number four. Just play your game. As much as you may want to punch the guy in the face. Some hecklers are really good at what they do. 
Some haters are really good at hating. But if you were to punch them in the face, if you were to retaliate, you're giving them exactly what they want. So don't do it. I have another story of, oh man, this is last year. He graduated this year, and well, last year. And we'll call him Jay. And Jay was a very short kid. Very short, weighed probably less than a feather. But he loved to play basketball. He was just a good ball player. And he was at, well, actually it was my home school at the time. They're a hostile crowd. And while he was in the game, because he's so skinny, his legs are like twigs. And the whole time, the whole game, when he was in there, you could just hear from the crowd, Where are your ankles? And things like that, just belittling him, pun not intended, <laughs> because of his his legs were so small that there was no like gap between like the calf being bigger than the leg or anything. It was just a straight line down. <laughs> I felt so bad, but some hecklers are really good. But hey, I credit uh, my friend for this. He didn't let it get to him. I told him about it after the game. I said, man, what were you thinking? And he said, oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I just I just channeled it out. I canceled it out. And I just focused on what I needed to do. A wise lesson from him. I hope you got some value from this video. And real quick, if you're interested, I have a free workout link. Top link in the description. Uh, you just have to click that link and then put in your email and then it'll send you the email or the the full workout in an email. Check it out, it's free. As always, keep God first. Good luck.